Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel, and thank you for joining us for part two of our modernizing a Defender 90. Now in the last video, we introduced this build, we cut in a sunroof, which was a little bit risky, but it, luckily it came absolutely perfectly. Not luckily, we do this all the time. And we also stripped it out. Steve took the windows off with tinting. Tom did a bit of soundproofing. And I think that's about it in the last video, actually. But today, what we want to do is nail the air installation. Now this vehicle, you've seen this previously on the channel, we always do the on-air installations. And today's no different. This vehicle is having on-air installation, which just brings this vehicle up to a modern day and age, 2021. Uh, a lot of vehicles have air for its comfort, its predictability, its versatility. And it really does bring a level of comfort to these vehicles, which is just pretty much unheard of. So here's all the kit. Leon's just doing some pre-assembly. We've got the Fox shocks to go on as well. And let's jump straight to it and get this air kit fitted. Tom's just come up with a, uh, hang on. What do you call it? It's not an ultimatum, is it? It's a... Um... Tom's just asked the weirdest question. Um... <laughs> if a snail, wait, 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 what was it? If I had 10 million pounds. 10 million pounds. To give to you right now. To give to me. And you, 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 you could say no, but if you said yes, then yep. there is a snail, and its only objective in life is to get to you, and it's to like slime on you, I'm gonna guess. Right. But if it does, you die the most horrible and painful death. And right. it's a very intelligent snail, so it can follow you, it will, you know, ten jump, million jump, quid. Jump, 10 million pounds. I take, listen to this, 10 million quid. I'm trying to listen to this. Right, you're giving 10 million quid, yeah? Right. You've got the option, there's, but there's gonna be a snail, at snail speed, at snail speed. Correct, That yeah. follows you around, and if it, for, if for it gets long? you forever. For, for, for the it. rest of your you life. Let's no. say you said, yes, 10 million quid, I'll take that. <laughs> it follows you forever. And you avoid it for like 10 years, you you're probably going to be insane. But it, but it will always, can always be following you, and if it does get to you, you die the most horrible, painful death in the most possible so way you could ever. So you could be sleeping, you could be on a beach in Barbados, it, it, its only objective in life is to get to you. And if it and gets you, to you... And you can't stamp on it, you can't kill it, you can't hire someone to... But it gets on a you plane. Just run oh yeah, oh yeah, he can, he can hop in a suitcase. <laughs> 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 He can, la he can latch on to the undercarriage. I'd, I'd risk it. Yeah. yeah. Would you? Yeah. Would yeah. you? Yeah. Ten million quid. You could, you could hire some, yeah, some what little person. What happens if they got an LS3? <laughs> 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 Actually, I'm going to have a little rant. Because 55.9% of you guys who watch my channel regularly, I can see all the analytics, and ho, 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 you guys are in trouble. Because 55.9% of you guys don't subscribe to my channel. Now, it really does make a difference with subscribers because that's obviously how we're going to be doing this content, how we're going to be funding this, and how we can get on and move our channel forwards to provide the better content for you guys that you guys know, love, and enjoy. So, I'm really asking you, bit of a push, bit of a nudge, please subscribe. It's literally free, it's free, free, free for you. 
give you guys what you really want to see, which is obviously later down the line, ridiculous, crazy projects. That comes from you pressing subscribe. So please, guys, please do subscribe. That would mean the world to us. And I'll be watching because I can see who subscribes and I'll see the number who doesn't subscribe and I'll think that you. Mm. Maybe we just do a Peugeot 206 oil and filter change then next day, yeah? <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> right, come on, let's mount this. Okay guys, so effectively we fully installed all the air kit. We've done the, the wiring loom and the hoses uh, off camera because we've done this so many times on the channel. And if you do want to see the air kit being fully installed, I'll leave a video link in the description to that. But uh, we kind of glossed over this air install because uh, we've done it before. So we've done the air in install and we can't show it going up and down because we've still got the big brake kit to go on and the wheels. Uh, but Steve has turned up and Steve is our tint wizard and he's here to install the glass. We've done the top Alpine windows uh, in limo black because of the roof rack and stuff that's going on and the wheels gloss and the uh, the roof is gloss black So uh, that was Steve's idea and he's just putting in the back glass and he's gonna do the full vehicle tint So we're gonna show him doing a bit of bob a few bits and bobs of him Tinting a defender and doing it properly as well, which is very very difficult on a defender We've seen a lot where if you come over here um, A lot of people when they're tinting a defender won't be able to get kind of this strip here as we see them often come in with like a piece of vinyl gloss black and it just looks terrible, it's not a proper job. So um, Steve is our man here and I knew him at the main dealers and that's where I uh, met Steve and I've kind of kept a good relationship. So Steve, what are you doing? Um, I'm just really fit the rear glass. Looks amazing. What colour have we gone for? Um, that's 15%. 15%, so it's like a deep privacy, yeah. Yeah. kind of like a factory style. Yeah, so all the windows around the back end will be 15%. I've done the two. Roof lights in limo. Just because you get an extra bit of sunlight coming in through those. Yeah. That looks really good. I think it changed the look of the car. But um, I'll leave you to get on with it. I won't bug you too much. I won't put the camera in your face. But yeah, we'll show you uh, Steve getting on with his job. And once he's done, then we can uh, get on with the big brake install. But uh, I'm off to go and get something else. So I'm going to leave the workshop in the hands of my very capable two young lads and Steve, of course, whilst I go and get something else which will be on the channel um, later on down the line. But. Um, Good, have fun. See you later. So guys, it's a new day and my dog is attacking me as always. Can, we, can you leave me here? Two minutes, just a moment. Get down. Sit. Good boy, now calm down. You done? We done? Excellent. Okay guys, so I left the workshop early on a Friday and I picked up something which is, uh, I'll show you guys in the near future, but I think you guys are gonna absolutely love it because I really do. And, uh, but anyway, moving on, I left you guys with Steve and Tom and Leon 
and Steve was doing the tinted windows. Now he's done an amazing job, and we always choose Steve. Uh, he he will happily tint your windows through through us if you if you wish to want to have them tinted. But um, yeah, he's really good, and he's amazing. He's always done an amazing job. He did the top windows in a limo black because they're Alpine windows, because there's going to be a roof rack, because they're gloss black. Um, and then he did the rear in a 15% smoked, which looks really good. Looks like a factory kind of tint. So. He's done an amazing job. We see some people who tint them and put a little vinyl strip down there. He doesn't do that. He slips it behind all the seals. And the, he just does an amazing job. Like, you couldn't get better than that. And it's a real art. Uh, I tried ages ago on the channel, some of you will remember, and uh, failed miserably. So Steve comes out, he does all the tinting, and he's really good at it. So that's amazing. So before I put the big wheels on and calibrate the suspension, we're going to get our big brake kit fitted because that is just a lot of fun. And these are actually looking quite worse for wear. They're not due replacement, but there's a lot of rust on the vents. The calipers look um, quite rusty and dirty, so we're just basically strip the whole lot down, fit our big brake kit, and then we can put our wheels on, bring the car down, calibrate the suspension, and have this thing looking, you know, get its stance set up. So really excited to do that. So we can just jump straight in, get started, and fit our big brake kit. Okay guys, so that is our big brake install fully completed. Leon's just finished up doing the rear lines. We've bled the system. It's looking really, really good. And we've, I mean, we've done this before and these things really, really punch hard. They stop on, on an absolute penny. So really excited to see these ones. You know, we've used them before. We know they're really, really good. But um, yeah, install's looking perfect. They just look so good. And it's just about modernizing. This whole corner right here is absolutely crazy if you think about it, considering this is a, essentially a classic vehicle. This, we've got modern braking modern suspension so it's going to feel nice and comfortable but it's also going to stop we're also going to be doing a power pack but we'll do that in another video but i just thought i'd show you the install anyway looking they're, they're huge they're absolutely huge and that's why we have to change the wheels and tires but they just look sick i really really love them a bit biased again because of uh that might be me leon what are you doing under here anything good uh just checking for leaks and stuff very good 
So the rear lines, Leon's done this, looking absolutely perfect. Everything's run against all the calipers. If you come around and have a look here, Tom, everything's all neatly, all neatly done, all nipped up, no leaks, we pressure bled it. All the rear airbags sitting nicely. Fox shocks, really nice. Some real premium equipment on this one. It's looking absolutely wonderful. And we've got our height sensors over here. All the looms are neat and tidy in a serviceable position. So if anyone is to work on this in the future that's not us, they won't have to disturb anything and they know exactly what they're looking at. So you've got your height sensor on here, the welded tab, so it knows where this corner is. It knows where each independent corner is, so that's really cool. Um, but what you came here for is to fit the wheels and tires. So we're gonna fit the wheels and tires, we're gonna bring it down, and then we're gonna calibrate this thing to exactly what height we want. And we're thinking with this one, we might get it a little bit lower than factory, and that is purely just to get that kind of fitment. We've got a bit of a, the airbags in these, we like to drop them by about an inch anyway, just to give it a bit more of a road handling feel. So we're gonna have a play with it and see, see where we wanna calibrate it basically. So let's grab those wheels and tires and get these things fitted. So we've gone for a slightly different tire on this one. On the last one, we fitted some nice BF Goodrich KO2s. But on this one, we've gone for a slightly more aggressive pattern, which I think is gonna work with this vehicle. Later on, as you'll see, when the design aspect starts to show itself to you guys, you'll know why we've gone for the chunkier pattern here. And we've, we've got something really cool planned for this vehicle, and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But uh, you'll have to trust me, we've gone for the right tire for where this vehicle is heading and its image we're looking for. So um, again, Cooper is a super premium tire, and these are really, really good, and they're quite good value. Um, they're slightly more off-road biased because they are, you know, an off-road tyre, uh, but still on-road is some great performance and they look really cool. There's a bit more of an aggressive side pattern to them and they just give that more of a, a 4 by 4 look, I suppose. Um, let's get them on. They look great. What do you reckon? That actually looks sick. Yeah. Slightly more aggressive. But Sorry. when we get the roof rack on and we do something on the front end here, hoo -hoo -hoo, that's going to look really fitting for this. Yeah. And if we lower this down on, you know, when we switch it off, yeah. <laughs> we can get that. I reckon we can get that so close because we're on 18s here and a, and a longer, and a, a longer, a bigger profile. Yeah. That <clears> is going to sit. Should get, get tucked. Yeah, like it's going to look absolutely slammed. It's going to look really cool. Let's get the other wheels on. In terms of rake, I'd say the, the back to the front there is, is where I want it. Yeah, that looks That, really just on this side, you've still got that typical Defender nose down, yeah. nose dive look. So if you measure that side at the back, and, then match and we'll match on the other side, side yeah? Because that other side's really slammed. Um, that's that access. I think we can all agree that looks um, very cool. This is basically where it's gonna be when you switch it off. It will air out, deck itself out. So wherever you've parked up, people are gonna know that this thing's been heavily modified, but we're doing something to the front, which I'm really excited to show you about, and the interior. <clears throat> and I'm not sure if some, some of you if, you, if you, if you know what I'm talking about here, there's a very special Land Rover. And I won't say more than that, but we're gonna make this one look very similar. And I think we can get it looking really, really, really nice. Dare I say nicer, dare I say nicer than, than what we're gonna try and do. I'll let you be the judge. <laughs> mm, 
Right, is that done? That's access. Do you reckon? I don't think so, because I think you've got... A, don't forget, the arches on the front are higher, but that still gives the roof line yeah. that rake. And I think that looks... Switch off. That looks absolutely mad. I'm surprised we haven't lowered one static yet properly. I like a series or something. I mean, like absolutely decked out. I but I, it's got to be soft top. Yeah. But anyway, I think that looks mental. Um, Double check them sign actually matches in there. Yeah. I can't wait for the front end. The front end's really winding me up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Wheels, tyres, suspension makes any build. Yeah. And having it lowered like that just looks really cool. I'm happy with that. Okay, next next is road height. So we're gonna set this yeah. one to two inches lower than what we usually do. So grab our tool that we use to do front and rear axle and knock 20 mil off. Let's have a look, see what we see. Okay guys, so we fully calibrated the, the car and what you're seeing here is axis height, which looks absolutely mental. I love how the big wheels and tires kind of are very close to the arch. It just looks not like a Defender in a really cool way. Um, give it a test mate. So Ignition on, wipers off maybe. <laughs> okay, send it. Right, there we go, the back's going up, there we go. Oh, it's so sick, isn't it? So where's that road height? That's road height. Ooh, so we set this one about two inches lower than, than what we'd usually set it because it just looks so good. Did, did, did we set that too low? <laughs> that looks sick though. Oh no, we set, we set this one this, this a little bit lower, didn't we? And then where's this, extended? Going into well, off-road mode. Off -road. Oh, that is just savage. I think we run it as is. We road test it, we make sure it's all good. But I definitely think, not as low as possible, but definitely where it was sitting looks so cool. So when it's access, like, when you turn it off. Where's that extended? That's, that's up, yeah. That's normal, mate. <laughs> that's like normal height of a normal Defender. Well, well, we'll recalibrate it if, if, if required, but it just looks so good. To be fair, that actually looks really good there. And if we got a roof rack, that, that doesn't look, we could calibrate it to sit there. And that's the, that's the benefit of this kit as well, the versatility. We can calibrate it to wherever we think looks cool, or the customer. So we can, you know, that looks decent. If we wanted it to go adventure or off-roading, whatever, we could then set it to be wherever. I don't think that's a bad shout there, you know. I think we'll put the roof rack on, we'll have a look, and then we'll come, you know, come back to it. Switch it off, okay. and this is where we've got party mode, so it'll slam itself down. Unbeatable. That is just such a cool feature. Still want to go. We do, yeah. So we do front down, back down, front down, back down. Very cool. Look how low it is. <laughs> it looks awesome though, doesn't it? That, that, that's perfect. Yeah, sick. Very cool. Okay, guys, so that is our air suspension fully installed, our big brake kit. Um, again, we've done this before, but it never fails to amaze us every single time. It just puts a smile on our face. So, so that is our suspension kit fully calibrated. And this is the, one of the biggest things about these is the versatility of the kit. You can kind of cal calibrate it wherever you want. And uh, we just kind of set it to, I suppose, a bit of test mode because we still got to take it out and set it exactly where we want to. But we're pretty happy with how it's looking. And uh, yeah, it never fails to put a smile on our face, especially with the big brake kit and the wheels, the air. I think we've done enough for a, for a video at least. Um, but don't forget to tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Love to hear what you guys think. I always love to try and read them all. Sometimes there's a bit, you know, a bit too many, but um, I'll always try and reply. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, which is at Juice Motors. And please don't forget to subscribe. That would really make a big difference to the channel and obviously to what you can see in the future builds. And um, I think that's about it. Enough spiel, yada yada. I will see you guys on the next episode when we start doing a bit more to this vehicle. Thank you guys.